All right, YouTube Balonians, this is a revolutionary moment in the live, in our lives, in the life of this house. I'm hearing that everybody hates this gold-toned oak, honey oak. oak, and people. The trend has been now to paint over it. Yep, paint them or and we just remove can't them. Do it. <laughs> no, so I, it's it's good. Oak. This is a pivotal moment. If I start sanding now, I got to keep going and not stop. So do I or do I not? So this is the point of no return by right. Kansas. It's Kansas yeah, saying that. Song. No, I am not painting it. I'm going to restain and then poly them. So with that. And you have to do it to all everything. Everything. All of the but would that carry over into the trim too or just cabinet? Yes, well the trim I already did. Oh, okay. So you stained and polyed, restained and polyed the banister. Okay, and it looks fantastic. Even two guys noticed that. Oh, you just redid that, so it is definitely. Um, well, these uh, are the con difference. contractor guys that. No, noticed. one was a contractor and one wasn't. One was a person that used to work with wood. Okay. Well, what do you think, guys? What's your comments about like changing your cabinet? I think I'd have to purchase a Dremel to get inside here, which you know that's another power tool, but yeah. power tools don't. I think buying power cabinets. tools is cheaper than buying new cabinets. So what's your thoughts, people ah. People who sell homes or remodel homes or are handy at this kind of stuff? What's your thoughts about changing the cabinets in your house, but not just going to chalk painting them? Or what, what do people do? What are the alternatives? You bad at what? The first advice I have is don't use a cast iron skillet because it turns them black. Oh, yeah. Although, yours looks really good. Turn the heat way down. That's the other man to learn to make omelets. I think it looks good. People, she's got her power tools out. Point of no return. We're going to get new cabinets. Yeah, so my feelings on it, look, I, I have just this idea of just leave the cabinets alone. It's, it's good, solid oak, and you don't want to paint oak. I've always had this thought, don't paint good wood. But now the way people treat home decorating is everyone's painting their honey oak wood because it's a trend, it's a fad and it's the way to decorate the interior of your home and improve it is to uh, do something different with that honey oak. So, as Amanda makes breakfast, I'm gonna contemplate maybe instead of painting it, uh, Karen wants to re-stain and varnish it, maybe make them a little darker. And uh, the, the biggest thing is where these handles are, they leave kind of like a footprint these handles leave a mark. So you can't just take the handles off and put a new one on. So she experimented here. She sanded off where the it used to be and she tried a new handle. And we would have to change all hardware on, on this door. So I'm for that because I'm tired of this look. Uh, I'm tired of the honey oak. Even I am tired of the honey oak look. And it's time to update these cabinets. Because we've updated the rest of the house, the floor, the furniture, the the walls the ceiling we've updated the countertops and uh we've got this gorgeous countertop going on and it's not clean right now because we're cooking breakfast but um we're gonna think about but the next step is to get these cabinets done and then the, the house will look fantastic <laughs> gonna look good. Ooh. Watch this, I'm gonna startle Karen.
Hi. <laughs> Thanks. You, you look very angry with a mask on. Are you grouchy today? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna go bye bye now. <laughs> Isn't that grouchy? I just like. <laughs> I felt like people coming up to me pretending they're bees. <laughs> I've been spotting them all morning. So that's not me. I'm a meanie. What's he looking at? I'm making um, a graphic for my friend's band. I'm moving the mouse around a lot. I'm basically painting. Is he trying to get to your screen? He's trying to get this little part that's moving. <laughs> The kitty likes the Mac better than the Windows PC. So Amanda's kind of into graphics, kind of. She's very much into graphics. You should check out her uh, Instagram site. It's on the comments below in the set in the description section. It's called Vibrant Illustration. I got the name from a turnover song. It's a great band. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Drawn outside the lens of a vibrant illustration you create. Oh, yeah. There's music to it. <laughs> He's stalking it. He's going to attack it at any moment. I'll make a good Instagram picture. YouTube Millennials, check this out. We're watching a local news story, and we it's about the Department of Motor Vehicles. You watch this. There's two things. First part is watch this lady as she's texting and walking, and uh, she almost However, misses the some desk. Some may have different hours watch to be closed. Her. Officials say with the new system, turnaround is expected to be much faster, and vehicle info will also be updated. <laughs> so in real time. she's texting, and now the second thing is. This lady, right during the news, they use the clip right when she's sniffing her kid's diaper. <laughs> it's like, does this kid need a diaper change? Rewind it a little bit. Let's watch this clip. <laughs> Info will also be updated in real time. You can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the perfect time, right when you're on the news, to sniff your kid's diaper. And then the editors keep the clip. I mean, there's probably got other clips that they film, but... I wonder if he needed to be changed. Uh, ew. That's where Jimmy Fallon says, that's so ew.